All right, guys. Um, you loved that episode yesterday, so I'm gonna do, I think, a couple more. So today we're gonna talk about super unethical link building tactics. Uh, and do me a solid. And can you guys just comment link building for the YouTube algorithm? Um, it'll help a lot. And uh, yeah, let me go find my creatine. All right, here we go. There's no gym here. Um, I'm in a count, town called Torquay in uh just west of melbourne it's pretty nice beautiful beaches here we go all right let's go all right so yesterday we did ten thousand three hundred and thirty two dollars that's up six hundred dollars from the day before amazon coming in fucking huge at nearly seven thousand dollars um media vine at just about two thousand uh fan feel and sale health at 317 and only fans at about a thousand forty four dollars pretty good day let's take a look at the amazon numbers all right so yesterday we did 129.6k in ordered revenue that is one of the higher numbers this of all time actually so pretty happy with that uh, multiply that by 54 and that's how I get to my estimated revenue. Uh, let's check out Levanta. Solid day yesterday, I think. Clicks were relatively steady, but commissions were up to $1,200 a day. Pretty fucking solid. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about the unethical link building tactic. Super savage. Guys, don't do this. But first, before we get to that, a couple quick call outs, all right? Um, you guys are going to hate me for this, but... Revive.so, I know I've been pushing it really hard. All right, guys, I won't talk about it for too much longer um, because we only got four more coupons for 50% lifetime discount off. All right, so if you guys sign up for the first link in the description, you get access to the sheet. Go to February 19th, episode 104. Click into this link and you'll get discounts. So original price is 99, 69, 49, and 29. If you go through the link, it's 50% off lifetime. This is a, actually a crazy deal. Okay. So $50 per month and you can bring your own open AI API key. It's fucking $50 for unlimited sites, unlimited rewrites. All you have to do is bring your own key and that's it. As simple as that. There's four more coupons. And just to show you guys, I'm not fucking trolling you. Look, uses 46 out of 50. I'm not even making this up. All right. And once people churn, it's just gone. So if you want to turn, so be it. I respect it. But just know that we're changing things every single day. We're having patches on the software. Shit's pretty nice, actually. There was a fuck ton of bugs. I'm sorry to the first people who came in. Um, there was a fuck ton of bugs, but uh, we were able to fix it. So yes. And uh, if you guys care, I'm, I'm just going to show you guys. Um, let's see here. Here we go. Look, we're at $1,500 MRR already pretty happy with that. Um, I'll keep you guys posted with things, but if you guys want to hear about it, let me know. Anyways, um, second plug, I'm sorry, this is such a long plug, but um, sign up for advice community, also in the description, but dude, our, our community is popping the fuck off, all right? I actually met the developer of revive.so in the community. Plus, if you sign up for the annual su subscription, you get access to my contract partnership contract template. That's the only way you can get access to it now. We're not selling it anymore. All right, that's it. Let's talk about the unethical link building tactic. So I've done this once in the past. No one really talks about this. It's a fucking savage move. Agencies will hate you and they'll probably hate me for doing this. But am I, am I cannibalizing my own service? Maybe, but or, or also if you guys do this to us, we're just going to not refund your money. So don't do this to us. And we only allow it. I'll just tell you guys first. Um, anyways, super unethical link building strategy is you find a link building agency that lets you do pre-approvals. There is a couple out there. I'm not going to name who because you guys are going to abuse the shit out of it. But what pre-approval means is like, hey, um, they'll give you a list of domains that you can pick for, from and you just pick them. And then they'll give you like... They'll, they'll let you pre-approve the links that they're going to be placing your site on before you pay. And what you do is you just fucking just rinse through that shit. You get like 200 sites 
and then you just cut them out by reaching out to them directly. Um, you, you can rinse and repeat before they realize what you're doing and that's it. You just make a fuck ton of money and it's a good, good rule of thumb is agencies mark up a certain percentage. So if they're selling at a hundred dollars, they probably can, they can probably get the link from like 10 to $30. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the tactic guys. Let me know what you think. It's a savage one. Don't do this to us, please. Um, it's not worth your time. Trust me. I've already instructed the team ahead of time not to allow you sick fucks to do this to us. So yeah, guys, if you have, have any questions on today's episode, drop them in the comment section below. Also, thank you guys so much for 10K subscribers. Really means a lot. Um, and I'll spend the next couple of minutes answering your questions now. All right, thanks for the comment. Hey, Frank, what's going on? Thank you. Thanks for the unethical SEO comments, guys. Really appreciate it. Aren't you worried that you'll get clapped from using an AI tool to rewrite that content? What reasons do sites get clapped generally? Okay, so people who have been clapped in the past know that penalties happen not on the page level, nor is it a content level thing. It is a domain level clapping. So just go test this out for yourself, but you can take my word for this, all right? Um, content does not get clapped it's a whole domain as a whole so when content used to rank it shows google actually likes this piece of content if you simply rewrite it or move that content to a domain that google is currently favoring you can pretty much rank pretty easily with that piece of content all right hope that answers your question uh let me know if it doesn't uh thank you for the comments guys just saw the tip this is super smart but not that unethical if written emphasis on how it's rewritten. Um, if it's AI, some may say you're stealing content, but fuck it, whatever. How do you identify a site that has been clapped by HCU when looking at a site for the first time to then use as a possible source for the unethical SEO? Good question, Steve. Um, how I would do it is if it's clapped during October of last year, that was the helpful content update. Fucking people, motherfuckers got crushed. Super savage, but it'd be like that. All right. Jackie, what is your best practices when cold email recipients respond with interested but are not scheduling a Zoom call? Some of them tend to say, send me more info. Well, you should send them more info. I can't, guys. I've given you all the tools on how to launch a partnership. I can't be answering your follow-up questions. You got to kind of know what's going on, all right? So pretty much if... You like your outreach for uh, partnerships, they finally respond. Give them examples, show them far and away. Say, hey, I would like to be creating um, affiliate content across these niches. Um, just give them examples and maybe you can throw up a site that you've done in the past and show them, right? Um, hope that answers your questions. Let me know if it doesn't, all right? Oh, it's a great exchange here. Hey, Jack, love the video. Does exact match domain or citations help for national unethical SEO? Um, national, not really. It's better on the local level. Um, but yeah, pretty much. An ethical SEO. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Do more content on rank and rent. Need more guidance on outreach and closing client coming to Singapore anytime soon. Um, no, I've, I've been, I came to Singapore last year, but yeah, uh, unfortunate, um, need more guidance on outreach. So outreach is just pretty simple. It's just cold emailing. I think I did a couple episodes on cold emailing. Um, closing the client is a different story. So you have to build some sort of rapport. I think, the most common practice is sending people free leads for a while. So you have a huge fat list of, um, like for example, if I rank for towing keywords, have a list of towing companies, reach out to a hundred of them, 10 of them probably respond with interest. And then you just start going through the list saying, Hey, um, I'm going to be starting to send you leads as a sample. If you like them, you have to pay for them in the future. If you don't, I'll move on to the next one. So on and so forth. I hope that answers your question. Um, this guy says, where do I find clapped sites? Gotta look on Ahrefs. Um, 
I think a good way is just going through best XYZ keywords and then going back before October, finding them. And most of the niche sites have been clapped. So just check them out. I think it's pretty freaking easy. I don't have to, think I have to go over that. But um, yeah, thanks for the comments, guys. Thank you. Hey, Jackie, hope you're in, enjoying Australian things. Do you have any content plans for newbie audience who don't know the core things of blogging is which you are covering? Well, maybe you can start a series where you start from scratch. If I am starting from scratch in 2024, I st I, I'll start like this. Know you're super busy, but want to know your thoughts on blogging for dummies or newbies. Let's catch up soon. Um, from scratch. Uh, I don't, the thing is, I don't know what I don't know, right? So if you give me, it'll be easier if you tell me like what, exactly are you struggling with and then i can help with that it's hard for me to be like hey here's a general thing i'm going to go from zero to hero uh that's not something i can do for you guys but if you give me specific questions i can help you answer it and if it's asked enough i can cover it in a video all right um that's all for now guys um i don't even have an unethical growth hack for you tomorrow but i'll, ha I'll have a think t today and i'll see you guys tomorrow